Hello and welcome to this multi-part video screencast series on beginning iOS development. My name is Alex Ackerman and this video series will go through starting off setting up your environment which we'll be doing in this first lesson here and then going through learning about Xcode, the development environment and then building your first iOS application. Now, these screencasts are made exclusively for Tuts Plus and will be made by myself and Mark Hammonds, the main editor of Mobile Tuts. So, um, in this video screencast, we are going to go through setting up an Apple developer account, and then we are going to download the iOS SDK as well as uh, Xcode, then install those onto our machine, and then just quickly go through Xcode and then the Apple Developer Center. So, getting straight into it, let's go to our favorite web browser and go to the Apple Developer Center. And you can go to this at developer.apple.com. And since we're doing iOS development, we'll just go to the iOS Development Center and then click on Register. Registering as an Apple developer um, is done by signing up for a free account to get started with. This will give you access to the latest public SDK, as well as all the documentation and all the getting started materials that Apple provides for free for all of its developers. Uh, there is a paid yearly subscription which allows you to then sell applications on the App Store, um, install applications on devices during development, and then also um, contribute onto the Apple developer forums and have access to some, to some other extra things as well as the beta SDKs when they are available. But for now, we can register as a free user. So uh, this first step here is, uh, do you have an existing Apple ID? Uh, so if you already have an iTunes account, an Apple on online store account, or a mobile me account, you can use these to sign up as a developer. If not, you can create a new one, and that's just uh, quite simple and easy. Okay, great, so now you're registered as an Apple developer. You now have access to the iOS Development Center and the latest public SDK. What may be different from your free account to mine is uh, I have access to the uh, iOS provisioning portal as well as iTunes Connect, Apple Developer Forums and just some other material on the sidebar there. That's fine. Uh, when you uh, get to building your first application for the App Store, you can then go through the paid yearly subscription which is only $99 US dollars a year. It's quite inexpensive and gives you heaps more stuff as well as getting access to the sacred beta SDKs. But focusing on what we have to do here, we have to download the latest public SDK and install uh, Xcode as well as the developer tools. So we can just um, go down to the download section here under Xcode and the iOS SDK. There's a disk image here ready for us to download. So let's just click on that one. And it'll start downloading. So once that's done, you can then go to the disk image it downloaded in your downloads folder and then open that up. This will mount a uh, disk onto your machine and then you can go to it and then open up the installer package. This is just your typical installer. So we'll just go through and uh, agree to the agreements. And then uh, select our drive. Yep. And then we can review the installation. So um, mine may be slightly visually different. I've already got the developer tools installed and uh, some previous SDKs installed, but um, coming from a fresh new system, it should just say install all in these sections here. But that doesn't really matter. This should all be correct by default. So we're just going to go ahead and continue. And then install. This can take some time. All right. So once the installation process is done, you can then check out what it has actually installed. So let's just open up our finder and you'll see on our root hard drive, we will have a developer folder. Uh, now this has everything we will need throughout this development series and in fact to develop any uh, macOS or iOS applications. So under the applications folder here we have Xcode, uh, Interface Builder and Instruments. These are the three main applications you use throughout development and the three main ones we'll be using in this video screencast series. So just to make it easy we're just going to drag Xcode into the dock here just to make sure it's nice and accessible. Uh, there's also a lot of other um, bits and pieces installed in this developer folder. There's um, folders for Xcode to store documentation, uh, some examples in here, uh, some extra stuff, uh, and just other things that it needs to compile and access the SDKs uh, like in here. 
but let's uh, get out of that now and we are going to open up Xcode. So this is the typical Xcode welcome screen. It has a list of your recent projects when you have some. So that's really nice and handy to get uh, straight to your project straight away. Uh, you can create a new Xcode project just from this button here. Uh, there's a whole bunch of getting started documentation Apple provides. We'll have a look at that in just a minute. And also go back to the Apple Developer Center. So uh, what I'm gonna do next is just show you around the Apple Developer Center. So I'm just gonna click on that one there. Okay, so now we're back in the Development Center and what we're mainly going to look at is the resources available to to developers. So you will see here we have a list of uh, resources available, and we have getting started videos, which is um, a great bunch of uh, videos that goes over the introductory concepts of iOS development, which takes you to iTunes. The getting started documents, which are um, uh, articles based on several topics in iOS development the iOS reference library, which is basically your general technical documentation for the SDK and its APIs, uh, just uh, IAD JavaScript reference library, uh, coding how-tos, sample code, and the Apple developer forums when it's available to you. So the getting started documentation, these are a set of detailed articles running through some core concepts in iOS development and development in general. They're um, actually really great guides to look at when you want to learn a new area for the first time. But there are, are other sections here you can have a look at. Um, they have their general reference material. So looking at anything in the network and, in, and internet section here. They have uh, documentation for specific classes um, and then programming guides, which um, give you an outline of, uh, in this case, in-app purchase. This, this will give you an, an outline of uh, how in-app purchase works and links to other articles ex further explaining how it works and give uh, charts and graphs and nice pretty images to help you understand how in-app purchases work. Um, just for example, I'll just pick one here. As you can see, there's quite a few resources available. So let's have a look at HTTP live streaming overview. This will talk about the video and audio streaming service. So this is an overview, not technical documentation. So it uh, takes more time to explain some things around the actual service and why they've done certain things. And then on the side here, you can see that they have uh, subheadings and different other headings to be able to understand how things work. But that's just one section in the reference library. You can go back and have a look around. Throughout um, development and using uh, Apple's development tools, uh, it's a good um, good thing to keep an eye on uh, what's happening in this section here. This will give you, uh, obviously, new content that's been added to the uh, resources section and keep you up to date on any anything related to iOS development. Um, also, they have a news and announcement section here, which will give you some finer details over uh, any recent changes. And if you have um, a paid subscription, you'll be able to access the developer forums, which then again go into the community aspect of developers talking to developers and anything new coming up they can discuss and also talk about any uh, beta SDK related tools and APIs. So that's about it. We have uh, Xcode installed. We have all the tools we need to get started. Uh, in the next series of screencasts, which will be hosted by Mark Hammonds, uh, he will go through creating your first iOS-based application um, and then going through understanding more things inside Xcode itself. And then uh, I'll join you again for looking at uh, building interfaces um, and then going through more and more concepts in uh, iOS development. So I hope you've enjoyed this first very brief um, environment setup video. Um, we are going to be producing these hopefully very frequently so you'll be able to go through week by week and learn some more things about iOS development to get you up to speed and to learn some new concepts. Thanks for watching. Uh, I am Alex Eckerman and I hope you st stick with us with the next videos in our screencast series. Thank you.